Yo, what is good, gamers? It is your boy Mission, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. In the last episode, we had some major, major events happen. We had an incredible, incredible fight with Benedicta. It was insane. She transformed into Garuda, and we had a very, very intense fight with her. We also discover and confirm actually for the first time that Clive is the icon Ifrit. Um, we physically see him transform into Ifrit. So that is confirmed that Clive killed his brother. At least at this moment, we know for sure now that it's confirmed that, yeah, Clive offed his brother, um, which is his brother Joshua, which is still a sad moment in the game. In my opinion outside of that we get a crazy scene where there's another war going on somewhere and we get to see a quick battle between odin and bahamut it was crazy y'all it was crazy y'all that cutscene was like literally like random <laughs> it was so spontaneous but it was like insane it was insane uh so now we are uh back with clive i think we're at the hot back at the hideaway again clive is under the realization that he was the one that killed his brother he's feeling guilty about it and we're just going to continue on from there man this journey has been amazing so far and i'm just ready to hop back into this this is going to be an emergent episode uh, i'm not going to have my face cam on the entire time so without further ado let's go ahead and immerse Let's freaking go. All right, we are back. The wages of guilt speak with Sid. Don't go wanna... making me throw you back in there now, eh? Dang, chill out, buddy. What's up, Torgo? Good boy? Man, even Torgo kind of like quiet. Let's see what is up next. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. All right. I think I'm settled. I got all the items I need. Um, let's go ahead and go to King's Fall. King's Fall, here the tumbles of waters of the Empire's brooks and bournes to converge into a single resplendent cataract where a bygone king is said to have lost both life and kingdom. Check it out. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Clive just soaking. I feel it, man. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. 
They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. Hunter and a hunted. Let's go. Torgo? What's good, boy? <laughs> good boy. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Galv on a wild goose chase. Okay, this area is pretty. I'll drop down? Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, snap. Okay. Alright. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Look at you. Look at you. I'm probably going to be petting Torgo a lot. Giving him treats. <laughs> When we fight the baddies and the monsters. What, what is now? that? Oh, son. Oh, sir. How are you doing? Ooh, I didn't even know he was charging me. the dodge. It's hard to read. Let's get it. That was cool. 
Minotaur main. Ooh, bloody highs. Scoo. That thing was huge. Another perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. That's better. Nice picked up extra potion at least. Can't be much further now. Bloody hoids. I gotta grab them. <laughs> they kind of annoying. Okay, yeah. I'm seeing how you have to behave with certain enemies. Gav, is that Gav? Gav. Yeah, Gav. I'm saying Gav. Gav. Who goes there? This one's a dessert. Take his head. Out of my way. Let's go. You made your going at the, You know who I'm going at the first. Yo! Dragoon, we faced you before. Oh, you got a pet? You got a pet too? There he is! Don't let him escape! Kill the deserter! Oh my God! Oh snap! See it? Let's go! before they do understood this game is so lit it's like freaking oh, man, avengers of final fantasy <laughs> let's go baby I'll take the holy are oh, you you were 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 all right i got him oh i couldn't cancel that okay Oh, die, you bastard. 
I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let's go. Oh, he went twice. I didn't even realize. Yet. Oh, that was faster. What the heck? I didn't see that. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Come on, see it. That was wild. Wow. That dragon went nutty at the end. I almost died. <laughs> See it with the save. Come on. He's wounded. Shit! Okay, Gav. Oh, man. Let's go see it. Yo, Sid is showing out in this episode. Get out of here. Oh, nice. Give me your hand. Oh, that's his wounded arm. PTSD. I've got you. Got him. Wow.
There. Ah. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. There you go. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible and kill yourself if he's not. Good point. Good point. Sit. I. Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> no birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. Go this guy again. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. Oh, I just saw a little bit of his hair. His hair is long. It's like brown. Wait, wait. Oh my freaking lord. He must be stopped. Oh my freaking lord. Is that Joshua? Bro. Bro. What the heck? Bro, are my eyes deceiving me? What the heck? Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive. on? Joshua survived? Right. Yo. Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goats, come with me. I still haven't got over what they just I'm showed us. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Wow, bro. Visit the infront, bro. I still haven't got over that scene that we just saw. Is Joshua is alive. 
Yo, yo, yo. It's a mogul. <laughs> they even have a moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. Well, here I am, so drink it in. Kupo. Sure, it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. Oh, his name is Nectar? Boggleton. So it would seem. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carried me here, but none of them understand a word I say. That sounds painful. But now you're here, my pom pom safe is at last. You can hear me. You can actually hear me, Koopo. Okay. Cool. So we understand Nectar. For some random reason. It's its fault. You tied it too tight. Do I have anything new to share with the tone guy? No. Okay, let's just go check on Jill. Moaning. Actually, let me restock real quick. Look what the curl dragged in. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Let's get this fixed before someone does themselves. It's a reunion. It's true then. It really is you. It is. Clive! You're alive. So are you. And so is freaking so Josh. Is Heck. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Taya told me what happened. He saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived. About Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. Hmm. It all happened so fast. Power awoke. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. Fight for them on the battlefield or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. 
I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Glyph. When I think back to that night... Bro, this is- that's so trippy now, though. The hoodie man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? We have Bro. found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there. To Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened. And so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... W. Jill. All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon then, Clive. Yes, sir. Let's go. I should be ready too. We've a long journey ahead of us. New quest is available nearby. New items are available. So, okay. My thing that I'm thinking about right now is the situation with that reveal of that person looking like uh, that guy in the hood, the hooded uh, cow looking like Joshua, an older version of Joshua. Now, let's get this fixed before someone does themselves a mischief. I know in terms of storytelling, it's not really confirmed if that's Joshua or not, you know, because it's just like, okay, the hooded figure appeared to Clive before the incident at Phoenix Gate. So how is, if it is Joshua, how is he like in two places at one time? Or is he like jumping timelines or something? I don't know. It's too, it's too much to be trying to like make theories about, but that reveal was freaking crazy bro freaking crazy oh let's check my abilities because i think it's time to do some upgrading for sure all right we got oh we got we got 1600 ability points i think i'm gonna go ahead and then upgrade stomp we're gonna upgrade these uh basic abilities burning blade Down thrust. Yeah, we might as well master all of these basic abilities. Okay, so when he sliced down now, it just automatically sets on fire. Nice. Oh, it's like a two hit now. All right. Yep, let's master that. Precision dodge. Dope, dope, dope. I got 405. Um, I think I would love to upgrade Heat Wave next. But I don't have anything else to use, so. All right, at least we got all that done. Can really do with a proper place to train. All right, so before we speak to Gav, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here for this episode of Final Fantasy 15. We got a big reveal. We had a big fight with a dragoon. We had just reunited with Jill and she's recovered. So I think that was a good enough events for this episode. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. I'm excited. I'm excited. Till then, y'all be good. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. And as always, you know the vibes. God loves you and I love you too. Peace. Salute. We out of here.